Hi, this is Dr. Isaac Towell, Clinical Director here at TBS Dental. So let's go over some instrumentation, techniques, and some terminology when it comes to extracting teeth. The first step that we're going to try to do is to separate that periodontal ligament. And we can use a boozer instrument for this to be able to walk around and separate it from all different aspects to ensure that the tissue is not attached to the tooth. So next step is to use the Elvitome 2.0. Starting in a pencil grip fashion, we can find a purchase point along the root itself. Once we find this purchase point, we can convert over into the palm grip. Now you can find one purchase point or two, depending on the mobility of the tooth. If the tooth begins to mobilize from one aspect, we can keep hovering on that same aspect, but often we'll have to go to a second location, maybe mesial or distal to that site, and go to the pencil grip and then into the palm grip and begin to push and twist apically. And this is a concept. This is not anything more than a solution to be able to deliver out a tooth. The simpler we can make it to extract the tooth, the easier it's going to be for the clinician. After using the Elvitome, we can simply pick up our Frings forceps and then providing slight rotational movement with a comfortable ergonomic grip. Of course, keeping our finger on the hinge to be able to provide deeper and deeper access into that periodontal ligamental space expanding the bony housing. And this is the key, this is not a race. We wanna deliver the tooth with ease. So think elegance, think with ease. The tooth is not pulled out, it's pushed out of the socket itself. So it's obvious from this extraction that the goal is not a race to try to break a tooth or break the bone or break the root and just get it out. It's about delivering the whole tooth without damaging the surrounding environment, making it easier for the next stage in life, whether it's a bone graft or an implant or just general healing for a minimally traumatic extraction. Now that the teeth have been delivered, we have to clean the site for either blood clotting or for bone grafting. Common misconception is that we should just scrape up and out, but utilizing the serrated curettes from TBS, we are actually able to do a different type of a concept. Instead of just pulling the granulation tissue out, we can push down into the extraction site to help separate the granulomatous tissue and then begin to scrape out against the bony walls to deliver the granulation tissue. Once we have the granulation tissue within reach, we can either use a pair of tissue forceps, hemostats, or rangeurs to just easily deliver that granulation tissue. It's paramount for us to be able to clean these sites because leaving any little bit of infection or any tissue can complicate second surgeries. And the serrated curettes enable us to do so. So if we're just using old-fashioned rounded curettes, we're not able to scrape up against the bone and we lose that cutting action that we have with the serrated curettes. So serrated curettes are really a must for a minimally traumatic extraction. In order to be able to accomplish a minimally traumatic extraction, it's all about the technique. The tools will get you there, but it's the technique, it's the concept, it's the solution that's going to be able to make this happen with simplicity, with ergonomics, with comfort for both the clinician and for the patient.